Ravi's Journey to Space Chapter 4 Lessons from the Universe Written and read by Venkat For the next 2 hours grandfather was performing a lot of experiments with his equipment while Ravi was recollecting all that he had learned and was writing them down in a notebook Hmm I'm surprised that I've understood most of what my grandfather had taught me today Hmm maybe I am not that stupid as my teachers think I am I think that I know even more than any of my class students or even more than my teachers themselves like me my teachers have never been to space before they have never experienced floating and and also they have never seen such multitude of stars have they Mm now that I have more experience than them so in a way I am better than them Ravi's heart was getting filled with pride he thought that he was better than his teachers and and was making fun of them in his heart at that time an alarm started ringing in the rocket ah it's time to go home now grandfather said It will take us a few hours to reach the earth and your grandmother will be waiting for us so we should be very quick grandfather said Yes grandfather even i feel a bit hungry ravi said grandfather was very happy that his rocket was successfully working he went back to his seat busy operating buttons and levers ravi get back to your seat grandfather said Ravi went back floating to his seat and continued Ravi get back to your seat grandfather said Ravi went back floating to his seat and Ravi went back floating to his seat and continued writing all the things that he had learnt on the note The rocket started to move slowly and in a few minutes it started to accelerate towards the earth. The earth was getting bigger and bigger. Grandfather, I have one last question, Ravi said. Um what have you learned from the universe? Well, Ravi, I have learned humility, grandfather said. What do you mean? Ravi asked Ravi it is very important for you to know this and it's very good that you asked this question to me humility my dear boy is the greatest lesson the universe teaches us grandfather said how ravi asked ravi look how small the earth and the sun are compared to the universe whereas we humans are often consumed by an illusion of great self importance we look down at other living beings and think that we are very special creatures but when i look at the universe it is obvious that we human beings are unquestionably insignificant in universe or its functioning grandfather continued look at the earth from here we see no countries not any people no indians no africans no islam no americans no christianity no buddhism no politicians no geniuses or or any stupid people i neither see any great emperors not any cowards the only thing i see is a small blue planet from here all the people are the same belonging to one human family grandfather looked at the earth and seemed to be in serious contemplation as he said it is disappointing it is very disappointing to see how the people of 
our one tiny planet being segregated into many groups based on color nationality politics race and religion while all of them are the same they misunderstand each other fight wish to dominate turn and, and even kill each other whereas we are all the same children of this one tiny planet lost in the realms of this vast universe can you can you explain me more ravi asked ravi look at the earth from here can you see the whole earth as one single organism it is essential for us all to recognize that an organism that is in war with itself is doomed grandfather said ravi listened very attentively to his grandfather he felt as if grandfather was shaking the foundations of ravi's assumed pride it is of pertinent importance that we all help each other and develop together rather to holding on to the assumed self importance pride and violence ravi we are all brothers and sisters of this one planet there is no one bigger or smaller than each other grandfather said oh no i have made a big mistake in in thinking that i'm better than others ravi thought to himself putting his head down ravi's understanding grew further and a new consciousness was developing inside him you are correct grandfather i can now see that we are all the same and my vanity of assumed self importance is is vanishing thanks to your lessons from the universe ravi concluded now i will share this experience with other people as well he thought to himself ravi's very curious mind and prideful heart was now more and more filled with humility thank you grandfather ravi hugged his grandfather tight grandfather was clearly moved by ravi's hug now once more get back to your seat ravi we are approaching the earth grandfather reminded as ravi looked out through the window the stars looked so beautiful hmm just like me looking out into the space i wonder if someone else from another planet might be looking out and and wondering if i existed or not how wonderful if we met what should i do in order to find out if there is life elsewhere ravi mumbled to himself mm, i know i will study astronomy and explore the stars yes yes indeed that is what i'll do in the future it does not matter what my teachers think i want to know what lies beyond just the beauty of the stars i want to know how it works i want to know it all ravi's eyes grew brighter the rocket descended to the earth slowly the darkness of the sky gradually started to fade and the sky became blue grandfather seemed to be busy operating his buttons and levers in the rocket after an hour of such descent ravi could see the village reappearing by this time the rocket was very slow and reached the ground there was a jerk as the rocket touched the ground success success bravo cried grandfather this journey was a success for ravi as well for he had not only learned science but also humility come ravi let us go home i don't want your grandmother to be waiting for us 
said his grandfather opening the rocket and both of them went out into his laboratory and changed their clothes during the dinner ravi was very enthusiastically describing all that he had learned and said when i grow up i want to be like grandfather i want to study astronomy grandmother looked at them both and said hmm your grandfather has rubbed on you as well <laughs> so ravi what are you going to do now for the rest of the holiday she asked i want to collect pictures and make a small book on space ravi said a book a very good idea what is the title of the book grandmother asked hmm ravi paused for a minute thoughtfully and he said hmm the title of the book would be secrets of space he said secret what is the secret that you have learned grandmother asked ravi looked thoughtful and replied humility <laughs> <laughs>